Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two super important security features that you have to turn on once you update to Samsung One UI 8 with Android 16. Now this is not a Samsung feature. This is actually Android 16's security features, which is why it's important to talk about it now as the majority of Samsung's latest devices should be updated by the end of October to Samsung One UI 8. Again, these are security features that are a part of Android 16. Now on the top right hand side, head over into settings. Now, once you do that, you're going to scroll down to where it says Google, because this is where everything is for all of Google services. This is where you head over into all services on the right side. So you'll scroll down to where it says personal and device safety. And there's a couple of these that I want to share with you. The first one is advanced protection. And you can see that right out of the box, mine is turned off. The advanced protection helps defend against online attacks, harmful applications, insecure connections, and other threats that put your data at risk. So this is where you just turn this one on. So what will happen is that, keep in mind, apps on your device can see if your device protection is on. On devices where 2G protection is available, 2G connections will be blocked except for emergency calling, and some websites may not load as expected. Now that this is toggled on, here is everything that device protection gives you. So first off, when it comes down to device safety, it safeguards your lost, stolen, or confiscated devices. What it'll do is a inactivity reboot, and it restarts device if it remains locked for three days. Then when it comes down to apps, it protects against memory bugs and unsafe applications. Google Play Protect scans for unsafe apps and malware. Then unknown apps, it blocks the installation of those apps from unknown sources. And then for networks, it prevents insecure connections. So for 2G network protection, it avoids 2G networks, which are less secure. When it comes down to the web, it protects against unsafe websites. So Android safe browsing, live threat protection blocks harmful web pages. For Chrome browsing, it warns you before you visit non-HTTPS sites. And then JavaScript protections, it turns off some advanced capabilities to reduce risk. And also Google messages, it protects against spam and scams. So for the spam protection, it filters spam and warns you of the scams. And then suspicious links. It warns you about links from unknown senders. And this is everything that it gives you once you turn this on, which is now why you're able to see why this is so important. So I'm going to turn this on. So now I have all of that stuff right here turned on because I just turned on this one switch of device protection. Now, the other thing that you can do is also the account protection. So then this way you can safeguard your Gmail account. So I'm gonna go inside of here. So in this way, I'd be able to protect this one as well. As you scroll down, you can see that a couple of these ones are turned on, but this is where you want to make sure that you have a recovery email and it'll be an email that is not used. Basically, it's an email that's separate of that Gmail that was there. So just make sure you have a couple emails. So this way you can at least recover this one if something was to happen and then you can enroll in the advanced protection. So here you can see that I've successfully enrolled to make sure you can access your account, keep your pass keys, security keys, and recovery sign-in options up to date. And you can see that it's, you know, take a look at my pass keys and security keys, my recovery phone, as well as my recovery email. And you just hit on done. Now going back a screen inside of the same category where we were right there was that advanced protection. The other one I want to talk about is theft protection because this is going to help if somebody was to steal your phone and want to make any type of changes to your Google account. Now what you do inside of this one is you go into identity check. Now what's cool about this is it's going to protect your phone when it's stolen by somebody who knows your pin pattern or password biometric authentication and security delay will be required before changing any type of sensitive settings. You can also set safe places. So right there, I have my safe place as home. Now, if there was an office that I go to every single day, Monday through Friday, nine to five, I would probably add in that location as well. So this way I wouldn't have to do my, any type of biometric authentication if I was to make any type of changes. It just means if somebody takes your phone and they're not in the safe places that you have put into this right there, 
then that means that they will, no matter what, have to put in something biometric, even if somehow they knew your PIN, password, or pattern. So this is a really cool thing that you can do when it comes down over into uh, protecting your Google account on Android 16. Now, underneath identity check for that theft protection, you do have these three other options. Now, we'll talk about the theft detection lock, but we're not going to talk about the offline detection as well as the remote lock just because the Samsung Find, so the Samsung services for this, is a little bit better than what Google has to offer. Now, when you take a look at the theft detection lock, it'll lock the screen if it detects that someone took your phone and started running away. So how this works is that your device's motion sensors will try to detect possible theft and lock your screen. So if you're just walking around using your phone, it's unlocked, you're looking at whatever application, if it thinks that someone has abruptly taken your phone, then speeds away, your screen will lock. So if your device isn't stolen though, and you just started running out of nowhere and you possibly jolted the phone, you just have to unlock it as usual with your pin or password. All it means is if it thinks someone is stealing it when your phone is unlocked and you are using it and you know, you're vulnerable to everything because it has been unlocked, it's just going to lock your display. And then again, you'd have to use your pin or password to get it unlocked. Now it's designed to work where theft occurs, which means you're not at home because if you're connected to a Wi-Fi signal, or maybe you're at work and you're connected to Wi-Fi, more than likely a theft probably didn't happen. So it states here that this protection is designed to work out in public where thefts usually occur, not when you're connected to stable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in places like a home or office. So I'm gonna turn this one on. And then to show you where some of this is found inside of Samsung for Samsung One UI 8, not just Android 16, this is where you scroll down and then you take a look at your security and privacy. Now, inside of this one, you have that lost device protection. So you go right there, and this is where you can do Find My Mobile, which I have a full in-depth video talking about everything you can do with Find My Mobile. Maybe I'll place this video below this one inside the description so you can take a look at it. Now, this is where you can also find theft protection, and this is where it took me over into here, which is that same screen. So right there, when it comes down to theft protection, they work together. This is getting you over into the, those Google settings, and it's, get, and it's doing it from the Samsung settings right there. So this is where we just were, the identity you know, check. So those are the two that I would like to share with you guys that is very important. And then to finish this one off, just make sure that yes, you do have Find My Mobile turned on. It allows the phone to be found. You can send the last location and also offline finding. And right there is that website you'll head over into if you need to take a look and find your phone. Now this website right there, now if you're curious to find your lost phone, because here in the phone, it can take me directly to the website via a link, but if you lost your phone and you don't know what the link is and you're trying to find it or you want to remotely lock it, this is where you can go to samsungfind.samsung.com. And again, I have a full video going over everything about this and everything you're able to do. So that is everything I wanted to cover in today's video. So it's not just about Samsung One UI 8, it's also about Android 16. And this is where you have all of your Google services. Just make sure you head over into all services. And then the two that we talked about today was advanced protection. And then inside of theft protection, you have identity check. Now those are very important when it comes down to Android 16. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.